Hello again, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Today is a short video, but concerning a very valuable subject related to our RVs, and that is power surge protection. Now, I just had to replace my old faithful unit that simply quit working after six years of rugged use. It's the Surge Guard by Southwire, and it saved me from trouble on two different occasions in campgrounds. And since I needed a new one, I reached out to my friend Todd Henson of the National RV Training Academy and asked for his professional recommendation and he recommended the power watchdog by Hughes and I'm glad he did because I really like what I see in this product now my RV uses a 50 amp power supply the 50 amp of course has four prongs and the 30 amp has three so obviously I needed a 50 amp surge protector for my unit but they do have the same model with the same features as this one for a 30 amp application. Now I'm not a certified electrician and the good news is you don't have to be to appreciate this product. So let's talk briefly about how the power watchdog protects our RVs electrical systems. Well first it can protect it from an over or under voltage problem. In other words it can protect it from a high or low voltage event. If the electricity spikes to 132 volts or higher the watchdog utilizes this EPO feature. The EPO stands for emergency power off. It shuts off all power to the RV if it needs to. If the electricity in the campground drops uh, to 104 volts or lower, again, the EPO does its work, shuts off power to the RV, protecting its electrical systems and all of its components. And of course, a high voltage event can be caused by a number of reasons. One of the most probably common one is a thunderstorm when lightning is striking in and around the vicinity. A low voltage issue can happen. Hey, listen, on a weekend during the summer when the campgrounds are full and everybody fires up their two or three air conditioners, they fire up their electrical uh, hot water systems, their coffee makers, their griddles, you name it. All of this demand for electricity can cause a power grid to drop in voltage, similar to a brownout. And of course, low voltage creates high amperage, which creates high heat, which can damage our electrical components in the RV. So again, if the RV, if the RV park is having some wiring issues, like maybe an open ground or an open neutral or reverse polarity, all these can be dangerous for the RV. And if any of these events occur, the watchdog will shut the power off to the RV, protecting its systems. Now, another feature I like about this particular model of watchdog is if it does take a spike or a massive surge and it damages the unit, which is what we want it to do, right? If you have a problem, we want the unit here to take a hit, not the RV. You can simply replace the module inside the unit for around $45. So now you don't have to replace the entire unit and that can be a big savings for you. In fact, this may be the last surge protector that we ever have to buy. So in layman's terms, that's how this thing works. Hey, share with us in the comments down below uh, what kind of protector you're using for your RVing. Is it hardwired? Is it portable? What make is it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? It's always good to see what others are doing. Now, let me show you how simple this thing is to use. And to do that, let's go plug it in. All right, so the first thing I want to do is turn the breaker off, plug in the surge protector. Now turn the power back on. With his face white, it means everything is okay. No issues, you hear the clunk. Had his face been red, it would have given me a code right here. And then you flip it over here on the side, and then you can interpret what the code is. Like for example, E1 is a line one voltage error, and you see all the codes here. Not that you can fix them, but at least you can tell the guy what's going on with it. We're in good shape, so I'm going to turn the breaker back off. Plug the RV power cord into the surge protector. And then flip the power back on. And his face is still white. Listen for the clunk. And by the way, this model does have a Bluetooth, so you can see right here. Let me, you can go to the app right there, and it'll come up. How cool is that? You can see up here it's with the kilowatts that I've used since I've been plugged in. Line one and two, it shows uh, uh, the volts, uh, the amps. Of course, we're in North America, we're at 60 hertz, and you see the watts that are being used. So that's pretty cool. I really do like that feature. You can keep an eye on your RV and its power usage. Very nice. Hughes had this model on their website for around $350. 
I purchased mine from the Hughes store on Amazon for just over $300. Their 30 amp is around 260. I have a link down below if you're looking for one. Uh, they're not cheap, but neither is a repair bill for the RV, right? Hey, hope our time together has been helpful. If so, make sure you smash that like button and we'll see you in the next video.